Hello and welcome to Modern Broadcast. In today's episode, we're going to be taking a look at our Flipper Zero device yet again, this time exploring the Evil Portal. Now, this video is meant for educational purposes only, and I do not condone any nefarious acts as far as following this tutorial. Let's go ahead and get started. So what is the Evil Portal? The Evil Portal utilizes a Flipper Zero device and also the additional Wi-Fi board. So when you pair the two devices together, what you do is it uh, broadcasts out an SSID. So that's a Wi-Fi access point and uh, it's unencrypted and it's, it's fake. Basically, there's no internet access, but it pretends like there is. So for when people connect to it, it takes you to a login screen for Google. And when you enter in your email and your password, it then sends that file to back to your Flipper Zero and saves it on the micro SD card. So this is a way to gain access to a bunch of emails and passwords. And, uh, you know, the people end up leaving that connection because there is no internet access and uh, just think that something's faulty, but they'll have no idea that they just gave you their login information. Now on that note, another tip is to just never connect to free Wi-Fi. Free Wi-Fi it really opens up the portal to attacks and you know, for people to see your information and to gain information on you, you should always connect to a secure access point and one that you personally know, whether that's your own, your friends, whatever that may be. Because anytime you're connecting your device to the internet, you are opening the door for exposure. With all that said and all that out of the way, YouTube, don't take this video down, please. Let's go ahead and get started with setting up our Flipper Zero and showing what this looks like. All right, first things first, here we are on our computer and uh, we are at this GitHub page for Big Bro Dude 6119 who has the Flipper Zero Evil Portal repository. And what we're going to do is going to go ahead to over this code hit the down arrow and just download the whole thing as a zip. All right, with that here on our uh, desktops here, we're gonna go ahead and open this up. And what we want to do is open up the flipper and the apps data, evil portal. And we have a config text and an HTML here. So if we open this HTML, this is what the login screen will look like when people connect to the access point. So it's gonna ask for their Google sign. It's gonna ask for their email and their password when they hit next. It will send that information back to your flipper. Let's go ahead and close that. The app config.txt, this is what we're going to call the access point. So by default, it's Google free Wi Fi. So we could change this Wi Fi name uh, to really anything that we want. Again, there's not going to be any password on it because it's that free Wi Fi. We, you know, the goal is for more people to connect to it, put in their information, and kind of build a data collection. So really change that to whatever. And if you have HTML programming knowledge and skills, you can change the HTML file to make that look like whatever you want as well. I'm going to leave it at the default here just to keep it nice and easy and simple. Evil Portal comes built in if you have the Unleashed firmware. So I have Unleashed firmware on my Flipper Zero. So I already have the FAP file and everything that I need on there. Go ahead and plug in my Flipper Zero to the computer now and show you. All right, now that I connected uh, my Flipper Zero here, uh, we see he's a little unhappy. He's packing up. He's leaving. I don't use my Flipper Zero that much outside of these videos. I really use it to operate the TV. We'll see here that if I go to Applications, scroll down to GPIO, and if I scroll down here to Evil Portal, and I click Start by default, it will not work. So it says I'm no response, press the back button. And then it says unable to read the HTML file. The SD card is set up correctly or is the SD card set up correctly? See instructions at GitHub big bro dude 6119 flipper zero evil portal under the install pre-built app on the flipper section and uh, set up. So the reason why that's not working. Oh my, my flipper crashed when I backed out of that. Okay. The reason why is because it cannot read the app's evil portal here. So what we need to do is we go over here, go to our SD card, apps data, and we don't have an evil portal here. So we're gonna just take this folder, drag it and drop it. Now that that is on our flipper. All right, so I have the Marauder uh, Wi-Fi firmware on the Wi-Fi dev board. So what we need to do is we actually have to, I think revert back, it looks like. 
because uh, we need to download the Wi-Fi dev .zip file. That's part of the release and it will contain four bin files. We'll connect the Wi-Fi dev board to the computer holding down the boot button. Go to this website here. I have a link down in the description below and press connect. Select the port associated with the board and add each of the four bin files using the blue add button. Enter the following addresses in the text field to the left of each file and press the program button and wait while the board is being flashed. Then it should work because uh, we're getting the it said it was working, but it wasn't actually broadcasting out any signals. So I'm going to go ahead and download the Wi-Fi dev board .zip. Okay, we open that and there are the four bin files. Come back here. We'll go to this website. We'll hit connect. The ESP32. All right. And we are now connected to our Wi-Fi dev board. And we're going to go ahead and click the select button. Go to our desktop. It says for the 1000, we need the evil portal no.bootloader. That's this one here. For the 8000, we need the partitions. This one here. For the E000, we need the boot app bin. And for the 10,000, just the no bin. Okay. Once we have those all connected in the proper order, Press the program button and it says done. I'm gonna go ahead and disconnect this from the computer and we'll plug it into our Flipper Zero and see how it works. Okay, here we are with our Flipper Zero. Go ahead and take the Wi-Fi board and plug it in the top here. I'm gonna go ahead and go to applications, GPIO, scroll on down and get to evil portal. There we go, now it's in focus. And hit start portal. There we go, so it says it's starting the app, Google free Wi-Fi with an IP address and that the web server is up, all right? We can confirm that it's working by stealing my wife's phone. And we see here underneath the Wi-Fi names that free uh, Google free Wi-Fi. And if we go open up a page, it takes us into that fake Google login screen where we can type in our email and password. Where we type in our email and password and hit next. And it takes us right back to that login screen. So you might get it multiple times with people constantly doing it, thinking that they just put it in wrong or something like that. But what that's actually doing when I type that in, it sent it to my Flipper Zero on the micro SD card. Perfect. And I don't know if you guys can see this, but right here, it actually shows it that a person connected and it says, don't forget to like and subscribe at gmail.com. Speaking of which, don't forget to like and subscribe to this video for more mono broadcast content. <laughs> and the password I put, it was butts. So there we have it. And it will just keep this going if more people connect and you can scroll up and down and you see it all right here on the Flipper Zero, but it also saves it as a log file on the micro SD card slot. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please consider leaving a like and subscribe. Again, do what you can to protect yourself. Don't fall for these scams. Don't connect to free Wi-Fi. It's all just opening up a can of worms and asking to get attacked. Have a great week, everyone, and take care.